Hi, and welcome to our Bible Art Channel, where we create videos to help you explore your God-given creativity and forget not the Lord in all you do each day. Today, we're going to see what we can do playing around with watercolors and try and create a sunrise over the ocean. We're not doing anything fancy, no fancy techniques or any we're not even, we're not even using fancy art supplies. I have cold pressed watercolor paper that I bought from Five Below, but I did link all the supplies that you could purchase from Amazon to just make it all convenient for you. I'm going to be using liquid watercolors. Now, I did this out of order and you're gonna see that in just a second. I wet the top of my paper, don't wet the top of your paper. First, we're going to use a white crayon. You're gonna see that I realized this after I wet my paper and I'm just gonna, no biggie, I'm just gonna flip it over. Let's pretend like that didn't happen. Now, first what we'll do, if we did this in the correct order, is we will grab a white crayon and maybe a yellow crayon and I am going to draw a circle with that white crayon and color it in. And then I'm going to come down my paper a little bit and in the center, I'm going to do horizontal lines zigzagging a little bit from a little wider at closer to my sun and as it comes closer to me I'm going to thin them out a little bit and this will create a reflection in the water from the sun. The crayon is wax and pigment and wax repels water. It resists it. So everywhere that crayon touches is going to leave wax and wax repels or resists water. So it will resist the watercolor and just leave that section white. So be careful where you put it. Now let's water down the top portion of our paper. Don't saturate it. We just want it enough for the paint to blend or pull across our paper. For my sunrise, I will grab the yellow, the orange, some fuchsia, and maybe even some purple. You can paint your sky in the color you like. Think how the sun creates light and brightness near it, and the shades of color are darker the further away that they get from the source of light. As I apply the colors, I will add some water here and there to cause these colors to blend. And I'll even gently shake and move the paper to encourage that bleeding. If I apply water to the sun, my little crayon area there, and I tilt my paper to the left, and I tilt my paper to the right, it will cause the color that's closest to the sunshine to dilute and be whiter and brighter, and I can move the color off my paper wherever I want to. And you'll see me just keep doing that. Um, I can apply more color where I need it, and I can apply more water where I want to dilute the color. You see how it creates a cloud-like movement or texture in my sky? I'm fine with that. Now that I have my sky, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to the sky, to the water, but I'm gonna think backwards. Everything closest to the light source is going to be lighter, and everything closer to me or further away from the sun is going to be a little darker and more vibrant. Because I am using complementary colors of blue and orange, if I over mix them, they will turn brown, and brown is gonna make my water look murky. And I do not want murky water on my painting because sharks live in murky water and we do not want any sharks in this painting. At least I don't. If I have used too much color or too much water and I need to remove some of that, just grab a paper towel and soak it up and it will just pick it up for you and then you can apply more color or more water or whatever it is that you need. Now I noticed a mistake. Do you see the area I overworked my paper? I rubbed, my, I rubbed that spot too hard and I got it too wet, oversaturated it. It disrupted the fiber of the paper and it's caused some of the paint to go down into the paper rather than sitting on the top. And I can't use water to fix that. That's not gonna change. So what we'll do is I'm gonna let my painting dry and then tomorrow I'm gonna come back and I'll add something in that area. I could paint something or draw something. So I'll think about it. You know, there are no mistakes in art. We just have creative fixes. I'll just make that mistake into something purposeful. 
This painting is a reminder that God paints the sky every morning, every day, and it's never the same. He could have just made this world in black and white, but he didn't. He gave us light and the ability to see colors from the light, such as the sun. And the sun is so valuable to us on this earth for so many different reasons. But one of my favorite is every morning and every evening as the sun goes up and the sun comes down. We get to see amazing color and details in God's creation. How about you? What's your favorite part? All right, that is your easy peasy watercolor sunrise. Till next time, we hope that you enjoy painting with us and most importantly, forget not the Lord.